Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Moore's Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a short video entitled, Why Learning Structure of Song is Very Important. Because unfortunately, the, the music teachers do not really push that, or should I say, um, <clears throat> incorporate uh, the, the importance of learning structure of song with teaching you your instrument. Because guess what? Once you learn your instrument, you're going to play songs. <clears throat> so it would make sense for them to kind of introduce you to that during that stage. And unfortunately, they don't. Uh, you know, the way that I learned how to write songs is I use, uh, you know, the vinyl records back in the day, the, the lead sheet or the lyrics. And I start to kind of figure it out because, you know, that's how I'm able to post so many songs so quickly and learning because the way that I analyze and listen to records is different from just the average person you know when i'm thinking about doing a cover I, I i break it down because songs have a couple of components and they're usually made up of verses which is usually about three of those and your chorus or your hook and that's the part in the song where a phrase is repeated over and over and that's normally the part that most people remember that's why they affectionately uh, refer to it as the hook. You know, uh, it hooks you in and you, you lock into that particular part of the song. And again, unfortunately, they do not teach you this and, you know, in your journey to play or learn your instrument. And it's extremely important because in my DVDs that I have for sale, I kind of go into it in more detail as far as why this is important and how you go about doing that. Because I teach beginner drums to some, some, some younger people for free. You know, that's my way of giving back. You know, anytime I have an opportunity to help the young people, I do that, you know, uh, you know, not trying to make any money doing it. Just something that I enjoy doing because I appreciate the people in my life when I was growing up and they took the time out of their schedule for free and taught me things. And the first thing or assignment I give them and a lot of people can't make the connection initially is uh, I don't initially put them on with the drum thong, give them a stick, say, hey, this is the kick drum and. No, before I even get to that point, I sit them down with some of their favorite songs because that's the key too as far as learning music. Uh, to incorporate things that these people or young folks or people that are learning want to learn how to play. You know, things that they like because that's what makes them want to learn how to play is to play the things they like. So uh, I sit them down for four weeks and I have them, you know, um, make a list of maybe 10 to 15 to 20 of their favorite songs. And then for the first two weeks, I kind of helped them, walk them through it. And after that, I, I put them out on their own as far as uh, the next two weeks. And what I do is have them listen to and identify the components in the song. Uh, you know, can you identify the verses? Can you identify the, the chorus? Uh, can you identify chord changes? I mean, should I, should I say uh, chord tempo, uh, tempo changes, key signature changes, things of that nature? And after a while, when they start to listen to music, they listen to it in a different way as far as breaking it down. Because I think a lot of drummers don't realize that they're the leaders when it comes to us following one band member. It's usually the drummer. And some drummers that I've been in bands with, they didn't know or realize that they were the, the go-to person. And uh, they just playing back there, you know, playing through the choruses and the verses, you know, not giving us uh, an idea when this is coming up. Because I remember when I first started to learn how to play my instrument, and I was in the garage band, and the very first song we did was uh, Curtis Blow's Christmas Rap. And we literally, literally counting. And it's disruptive to try to count and play at the same time. But as you become a better musician, you can start to feel where you at in the song and where you are going. You know, uh, you don't have to sit there and count. You can actually kind of feel it because most songs are structured universally. And what I mean by that is uh, so many measures before you get to the chorus and, and then the verses and the B section. You know, it's just kind of a universal format. And, and after a while, again, you can just start to feel when something's going to come up. You know, it should be there. But sometimes it isn't. But, you know, most of the time it is. You know, so uh, it's important to learn structure of song. I mean, I can't stress that more because if you plan on being a musician and a good one. You got to know where you're at in the song. And still of all, I'm counting. You know, and I think to so many bars, I should be somewhere else. You know, that's kind of the beginner's approach, which is understandable. Understandable, but at some point in time, you want to kind of graduate to a, a higher level as far as, again, playing, feeling it, 
because I would say the majority of music is composed of a feel. And there's nothing wrong with getting as much technical formal training as possible, but uh, the best musicians, and think about this, the greatest musicians that ever lived, like Jimi Hendrix is one of them, didn't know music theory, you know, couldn't read. You know, Prince, first start off, couldn't read, you know, you know so, uh, but these guys have incredible feel. You know, and, and and at some point in time, you're hoping to get to that point where you can feel the music because, you know, I remember when I started to get to that point where I could actually feel it. You know, I'm like, I feel it coming up, you know, and it's there, you know, because, again, music have kind of a universal structure. So it's not like uh, each song is going to be totally different as far as bars to get to the chorus or whatever. You know, and uh, again, I can't stress more that it's very important to incorporate that into when you're starting to play. You know, don't don't wait three, four years in, until you're playing into your plan to try to do this. Try to start it off as you know, just like when you're starting off, learn how to play the guitar. Learn that this is the chorus, this is the verse. There's a key signature change. There's the B section. You know, all that stuff is important, and it's going to play into your plan. As soon as you start, you know, learning to play in bands and playing other people's stuff or writing your own. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Until next time, take care.